Josh be here to make back to a new Simpsons video and we are back on my re-reviewing my favorite episodes of The Simpsons and this is another one of my favorite episodes where Marge gets a job at the nuclear plant. I always loved the comedy in this episode. Again, that's what I love about early Simpsons. I'm not saying that the today's Simpsons, you know, season 35 up to season 35 Simpsons doesn't have good comedy like the early seasons. But I especially love the earlier seasons a lot, though, of the Simpsons. And this one definitely, for sure, is definitely up there. And it starts with Homer getting the shampoo, a shampoo bottle, or this soap. And yeah, he's drinking it. And there's... An invitation to a retirement party at one of the people at the nuclear plant. And Homer wishes that he can retire. Cause, and, <laughs> yeah, we see what he would do if he was retired. And something odd. Marge finds something odd when Ned comes by. He's a little sideways. And, yeah, Maggie is about to get blended by the fan. But apparently part of their house is tilting, is sinking. And Homer watches this video, repairing video by Troy McClure. Which, again, I still wish we could see more of him in m more seasons, though. And Homer tries to get a guy to come and look for it. And he's like, forget it, when he figures out how much money it'll cost. And, of course, even on Kent Brockman is just saying, ever heard the leaning, or we know about the leaning tower of pizza, and now we have this. And, yeah, we see the party and uh, with this old man and Smithers is singing, wanting to sing a song. But it's not all about the guy that's retiring. It's about Mr. Burns. Just a song just of how great Mr. Burns is. And then the guy just wants to say a few words. But, of course, Mr. Burns just doesn't, is like, me, me, me. And, yeah, of course, he can't say more, so they throw him out. Of his own retirement party. And Marge decides to get a job and fill in an application of the spot that was taken. Or is now open for the nuclear plant. And yeah, Lisa reads her application. But Lisa actually fixes it up. Saying that they expect you to lie a little bit on your applications. And yeah, Smitter's sees his ap her application and is impressed with it. And, yeah, Marge is saying that this is going to be g good for her now because she didn't really have much else to do just staying at home but since Homer is always working. And, yeah, we see that Abe Simpson is over babysitting Maggie and she's saying that she's thirsty, but he thinks that she's sick and she's... And she's trying to get off her crib to reach her bottle while he's looking for different things that she could have. And, yeah, Smitter shows her to her station. And Bart is pretending to be sick, of course. And, yeah, Marge is filling out this paperwork, which Homer delivers it, which, yeah, it just ends up going to where these beavers have been collecting these. And Abe Simpson got these leeches. Yeah. And then we get a Star Wars-like reference. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I do know the song with, that it plays during the scene where a brief time, wet, brief moment where Mr. Burns is looking at the monitors. It's like the do 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 All right, you know the Star Wars-like theme. And, yeah, we see all these different employees just slacking off on the job at the nuclear plant. And then Mr. Burns says Marge. And, yeah, he's saying that his heart is pounding like a jackhammer. And we literally see his heart. <laughs> yeah, that's his heart that we see. And, yeah, Mr. Burns gives some presents, some gifts for Marge. And she's wondering why everybody else just seems so low. And, yeah, it's very funny. And this guy with a gun saying that I'm the angel of death. The time of purification is at hand. And... Mr. Burns is wondering what they should do, which Marge is suggesting, like, funny, doing funny hats, and also listening to some Tom Jones music. 
which that cheers her up. And yeah, we say that they have the hats. And yeah, that guy with the gun is ready to go on a on a spray for real though. And they got healthier snacks on the way. And yeah, Homer and everybody is trying to fight and get their donuts back. And Smithers gets his job, gets his office um, taken by Marge because Marge gets a raise and she gets Mr. Smithers' office. So he's he has to go to the toilets to clean the toilets. And then right the urinal when he cleans, Miss or Homer has to come and use that exact same toilet. There are bay people in the today's world. There would be people in this world that would be like that. I am sure of it. Like, you just clean a toilet, right? Like, if you're having to clean the bathrooms and you clean one of the toilets, or the urinals, for example, like Smithers is doing, and a guy comes in and he uses the exact same one you just cleaned, I'm sure a lot of people can probably relate with that. And, yeah, Bart is still trying to get out of doing his test, and of course, Mrs. Krabappel, it's, it always feels weird saying Mrs. Krabappel, and looking back at the earlier seasons when she was still here, I do miss her in the newer seasons, though. I mean, I do like Bart's newer teacher in the newer episodes, but I do miss Mrs. Krabappel. And Homer is like, he's just, he's not going to sleep in the same bed with the woman that got a promotion of before him and she's saying that maybe he should work a bit harder because she saw him sleeping on the job several times and yeah he's like well good night <laughs> and Mr. Burns is telling Smithers that he had that dream about Marge again where he, he, flying out through the window and yeah Smithers knows exactly what he's talking about and yeah, they fixed the house, and Homer's just telling that guy to get out, and telling Marge to get his gun, to get that guy that fixed their house. And yeah, Smithers is going to get Tom Jones to perform at this private thing that Mr. Burns wants him and Marge to do, attend, and he tries to bribe Tom Jones, and then he uses his gas to knock him out. Then we see this wolf that escaped from Krusty and ending up at the elementary school with Bart and of course Mrs. Carbopple not paying any attention that he's actually in danger. And yeah, Marge says or goes to Mr. Burns' office and says what he's planning and getting Tom, having Tom Jones which yeah, we see Smetters pointing a gun at his back and just telling him to keep on smiling and waving. <laughs> and when Mr. Burns finds out that Marge is married, he fires her. Yeah. I mean, if that would happen in real life, if somebody got fired, because if your boss fired you because you're married, yeah, that's, that would just, you would know that is not a good place to work. And, yeah, they try to do a case. And, um, Willie comes and fights the wolf, and, yeah, Bart just, passes out <laughs> and Willie is like don't feel bad for losing to the wo at the wolf and yeah they go to Mr. Hutz which again is another character I wish we could see more and they try to find a case to to sue Mr. Burns for Marge's sexual for the sexual harassment that Marge was going through with Mr. Burn that Mr. Burns was doing and, yeah, he tries to act all lawyerly and says all these different lawyers, which, yeah, makes him scream and run. And Mr. Burns isn't going anywhere until he does something to make up for what he did with to Marge. And, yeah, Homer and Marge have this private night, and Tom Jones literally chained to the floor and him telling Marge to get help. <laughs> yeah, because he's liter they literally have this popular singer held hostage. Mr. Burns literally has this guy held hostage to sing, being forced to sing. <laughs> but yeah, again, a really good episode from the classic seasons. But yeah, I'd like to know what y'all think. Let me know.